A rounded bar chart is a unique chart type that represents data in more visual appealing way. In rounded bar charts, the bars have rounded edges instead of sharp corners, which can make the chart look more modern and professional, but at the same time, it may be less effective at showing precise values than a traditional bar chart with sharp corner shows. Most of you have asked me how to create a rounded bar chart with a modern twist in Tableau. So in this tutorial, I'm going to share a step-by-step -step video on how to create that. But before we do that, I want to emphasize that it is important to carefully consider whether rounded bar chart is appropriate for your use case to accurately interpret the data. If so, then go ahead with rounded bar chart. But if your requirement is to show precise values, then definitely go with traditional bar chart with sharp corners. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it and see how we can create this chart in Tableau. Welcome back, my name is Gurpreet, and if this is the very first time you are visiting my channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you stay up to date with all of my videos. So let's get started. Today I am going to share an artistic way of creating a rounded bar chart with a slight twist. As you can see on the screen, I have created a rounded bar chart to show the profit ratio percentage across all the regions using simple Superstore dataset. So at the back you can see there is a placeholder bar which shows us the value of the profit ratio from minimum to its maximum value. And that is same across all the regions. And I have plotted this shape which is again in the form of rounded rectangle and I have placed that on top of that bar to show the actual percentage for each of these regions. So how we can create that? So first of all let's open a new blank workbook. And I will first connect to Sample Superstore dataset by simply going here and connecting to Sample Superstore dataset. Once the dataset is created, there are a few things which we need to keep in mind. So first of all, we need to create two calculations and we need to first create a simple bar chart. So let's do that by simply creating a region. So we will bring the region in the row shelf. And as I showed you earlier, we have this bar at the back which basically tells us the placeholder value for its minimum to maximum value. As you can see here, maximum value is 1, and if I hover over here, the minimum value is 0. Because we are showing the percentage, we are using minimum and maximum value as 0 and 1. But if we are showing the bars for sales or revenues or any other numeric value, then you can change these calculations, and I will get back on that when I start doing the calculation how we can change those calculations. So let's first create the calculated field. So I will go to calculated field and type minimum. And in this minimum field, I will enter zero. And same way, I will create a calculated field for maximum. And here I will enter one. So once we have created these minimum and maximum fields, then we will need to bring the measure values in column shelf. And you will see here all the measure values are shown in this particular shelf but we don't need everything so i will delete the one which i don't need and i will only keep minimum and maximum as of now so for that you can see here we have same length of bar for all these regions which is from zero value to one but i don't need the rectangular bar i need to have a rounded bars for these as well so first of all, for that, I will change this into a line chart. Once I change it into a line chart, you will see there are vertical bars created. Again, I don't want that. So what I will do, I will bring the measure name by pressing the command key or control key based on if you are using Mac or Windows and bring it into the path shelf. And once you bring that into the path shelf, you will see a rounded bar is created. So let's change the display setting and make sure we have entire view so you will see it in a better way and then go here and change the size so if you change increase the size you will see the rounded bars are created and now i will again bring the region into the color shelf so we can show different colors for each of the region 
but the twist is right now we are showing the bars from its minimum value which is 0 to maximum value which is 1 but I want to show the percentage of profit ratio across each of these region which is currently not showing here so what I will do I will bring the profit ratio calculation which is here and drag it to the column shelf once I do that you will see here four different circles are created for each of these region and I will then create a dual axis for this one and I will synchronize the axis as well once I do that it will be overlaying on top of each other so I will first increase the size here just to make sure we can see it clearly and then I will go back onto the round bar chart which is in the background I will change the color and reduce the opacity let's say to 58 and now it is clearly visible right so these are nothing but just a circle and instead of using a circle we can change it into any shape we want so if I go to shape you can see here different shapes are now generated like a just outlined circle and I will reduce the size of this and I will try to now change into different shapes and see how it looks like so if I want a rectangle we can use a rectangle but here I have selected square I can change to triangle or cross or I can find more shapes if I want and I can choose basically any shape and if I do that you can see here the really nice bar chart rounded bar chart is created but for this demonstration purpose I have created a custom shape which is a rounded rectangle and if I use that you will see here the round rectangle is created and now I will go here and increase the size as per my requirement and you can see here it is looking really nice as of now right so on top of that I want to show the profit ratio as well so I will drag the profit ratio and I will put it in the X mark and you will see it here it started to appear the profit ratio on the right side now I just need to do a bit of formatting I will go to the formatting section and I will change the numbers to percentage and with the alignment I want to keep it in the center and here you go and the size of the font we can increase a little bit we can do a little bit more and if we want to do it a bit bold we can do that as well and here you go now we can just hide the headers by just clicking on that and uncheck show headers we can do the same thing here and we don't need the grid lines at the back so I will go to the borders and remove row dividers and column dividers I don't need any of them and then I will go to grid lines and I will remove the column grid lines and same thing with our zero lines I don't want to show that as well so now that we have created this I will do the formatting of the color of the worksheet and change it to black and I will right click on this and format the font for this as well and keep it to 11 and I can change it to white so it will look better on the white and I will simply come here and I will hide the header label for this one you can hide this too and here you go it looking really nice really modern design and really professional but as I mentioned earlier you have to make sure if this suits your business case or the requirement because if you are really looking for a precision in showing these percentage value or any other value then you need to make sure that you are using the rectangular bar chart rather than the rounded corner and another thing I also wanted to mention that in this case I'm only showing the percentage but for example if you want to show the sales value you can do the same thing here instead of using minimum and maximum as 0 and 1 we can go and edit this field and we can change it to fixed calculation and I will simply say here sum of sales and we will close this this is our maximum value and if I apply that our axis will change so if I show the header here and you will see here we have the maximum as 24k sales
So instead of bringing the profit ratio, I will remove that and I will bring the sales value here and bring the sales value. And again, I will do the dual axis here and synchronize the axis. So now you will see here we have sales value, right? Based on the maximum sales, which is nearly 24K. And again, I can change the chart type and change it to shape. And I can select the shape, which I have saved it in our custom shapes and tabular repository folder and press OK. And I will change the color. I don't want it opaque. Oh, I don't want any opacity, so I will keep it 100%. And I will then bring the sales value by pressing command or control and bring into label. And here again, I will go to label and change the formatting the same way we did earlier. And if we want, we can go here and change the number to custom currency or standard in this case we can use as well. Or if you want to do a custom, we can reduce the decimal places. So it will look something like this. So that's how you can either use it for percentage or using it for showing the sales value or any other number. I hope you guys like this session and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out or drop a comment in the section below. Thank you.